Hello, hello, and welcome to a video on Space Engineers. Today I am just showing off this little ship, which will be available shortly on the Steam Workshop, called the Minion. Now, a couple of weeks ago, by this point, the update came out for ship welders and small ship grinders. And in my in the greater game I play with um, my friend, my dear friend, this is the uh, ship that I immediately built. I spent... <laughs> well, I actually spent the best part of an afternoon on it. But yeah, I'll just give you the uh, walkover of it. The Minion is a bit of a Swiss army knife of a ship, I think is the best way to put it. It does a little bit of everything. So in some ways you could call it a scaled up space guy. Yeah. A, a scaled up space guy because it can weld, it can grind, it can mine and if you look just in here it can also attack things as well with two machine guns so please note it's not actually designed for combat it has no real defense or durability the tools are all horribly exposed it's not a fighter it's a... Well, it's not a lover either since that's how the cliche goes it is a builder a worker a minion oh. anyway uh, let's run this properly the most distinctive feature, obviously, is the solar panels. Arrayed two on each side and two on the roof. The idea of those is that they provide a boost in power, small though it is, whenever the ship is out in sunlight. You can actually park this ship out in the light from the sun and it won't drain anything from the reactors if you leave it on. Which is really why it's there as a parking feature and also to make the ship easier for resupply and refueling because it just doesn't use as much when it's just parked or when it's using one of its tool sets. It's also highly maneuverable. It's built with, well, strafing side to side and up and down. It's actually got the same thrust in all directions which is one large and four small engines. You may think it looks slightly different in that it's got only small engines for its vertical thrust, but that's because one small engine is... let's try that again. One large engine has the same thrust as 12 small ones, and since it's got the same on the other side, that is all it needs. And as you can see spread out on the top, just like that. Of course, front and rear thrust, it's got more. In terms of rear thrust, it's got two engines. It can back up quite quickly. And for forward thrust, it's actually got four, which is where most of its power comes from. To be honest, the um, most distinctive feature of it, apart from the solar sails, is actually the hull shaping. I always spend so long shaping the hulls of any ship I make which is why it's got this odd patterning on it. Well, odd. I rather, I rather like the patterning, but well, whatever. Um, underneath, four landing pads. It can land on things and hang on. It's also got loading and unloading down here. You can load stuff into it for its work using this loader at the back. And for unloading, it's got both a large one for unloading big pieces of equipment and a small piece to speed things up with tiny things like ore or metal plating or anything that will fit through it really. For the front, it's got four spotlights, nice blinding white, and its cockpit safely nestled in the midst of all of its other tools, which actually, <laughs> to be honest in my survival game, I found that this is a bit of a drawback because if, if you get out of the ship while the tools are running, they can actually kill you completely by accident is about as fun as it sounds. Now for manoeuvring, 
turns really quickly, as you can see. It's quite nice. It's actually a bit like a fighter in that regard. So you could technically employ this as a fighter reasonably well because it's got good acceleration, good turning. It's just not got any durability in its defensive design. It just doesn't have it. Okay, next up is the demonstrations. Now then, on the underside, as you can see, mounted like they are a bit of an afterthought, is a set of drills. The truth is, this is not a dedicated mining ship, because it's completely the wrong shape for what I try to do with that kind of thing. It's more designed for scraping the surface of an asteroid, picking up some raw materials, or shaping a trench for installing a station or other items into. And it's even got a... It's got a ore detector somewhere. There it is. So it can actually function as an impromptu mining ship, if it has to. Though for the most part, you're probably only going to get stone with it. So you just... Just dig along quite nicely underneath. You can see what I mean about trenching, because it does channel wide enough for the ship to fit into. But it can't really dig down because of the other tools that get in the way of the um, drills as it works. So yeah, it's really just intended to scrape along and dig a little hole for itself more than anything else. Which is cute and sometimes useful, but it's not really a serious miner. That's the mine done. Okay, next. We've lost myself. Here we go. Next is, I think, grinding. For which I have built this little demonstration piece here. As a grinder, this thing is actually pretty good. It's its most powerful feature. It can tear things apart fairly well with its small grinders. Which are. Uh, like anything else, stuck in this upset. So I can just turn them all on at once and move my ship. Yes, look at that speed. So much faster than um, if you're doing it by hand. Truthfully, I tested the grinding on this with uh, making by tearing apart a commercial shipment. This vessel had enough space inside it to hold the entire craft. Though admittedly, some of it was backing up into the um, into the grinders themselves by the end of it. But safely hidden within it, it's got well, as you can see, three large cargo containers. That's connected there, which picked up all that stone I mind, which is useful. Yeah, that's its grinding function, it's rather nice. Perhaps I should have shown you from this view, but um, as you can see it's a bit restricted with all the tools sticking out in front. And lastly there is this here, which again I just built for demonstration purposes. This is effectively a small outpost station. It's got refineries, it's got storage, and it can load and unload from a craft of this design quite easily from the placement of the collectors and connectors in the top. But for now, it's just going to be demonstrating the welding, which I have now turned on. Just need to move closer, and there we go, welding. Works very well. Though admittedly, with only two welders compared to three grinders, it's faster at tearing things apart than it is at building stuff. And the spacing of the two, because of the cockpit in the middle, is actually a, a bit awkward, I've found, as well. Just turn those off now, since I only just damaged those two solar panels. Something else to note about this design is, the rear thrust and the upward thrust are actually designed so that um, if you've got thrust damage on, it won't harm things that your ship is either 
working on with its tools or if it's trying to land on something like I am about to try and do now once I get pointed that way come on down you go that's a good ship very easy, easy to line up and there we go nice and safely parked ah that's lovely isn't it? and now I can just unload that but <laughs> fool that I am I didn't put a reactor into the um, this little station which is um, why it just started acting up like that I'll just tack a small reactor onto it so the refineries can work yeah you can you can hear that hear them struggling like that ah, silly me silly me Silly, silly me. Where, where would be nice? I think actually there would be. There we go. And there go the uh, refineries. Just one there as well for symmetry. And I believe the last thing is actually to show you that this thing can actually load onto a ship as well. So where's that connector? And yes, yeah, so as you can see, it's loading stuff, and since the ship is set to do that as well, it's actually cycling back and forth. <laughs> so, whoops. Turn that thing off completely. There we go. And yeah, I think that's about all there is to say about the Minion. I hope you enjoy it, and I hope it's useful to you. Oh yeah, wait. I've thought of this several times while I've been doing this video and I've probably forgotten it. <laughs> I'm sorry, I, I do get like that sometimes. Let's just turn off the unloading systems. Because there is something else I need to show you. And that is... Well, I can't exactly demonstrate it to you because I didn't think to equip the... equip the station for it. But underneath... You can just about see it through this gap, I think. Or not. But yeah, anyway, underneath, right here between the landing pads, this ship actually has an artificial mass. So if you really want to, you can use it for gravity-assisted landing. Because that, that will slowly pull the ship down in any gravity field. And let it land evenly on all four of its landing pads. So it's just a nice little feature there for anyone who might actually find a use for that kind of thing. But yeah, that's the Minion. Thank you for watching and I'll see you around.